Here's an example of calculating with the divergence theorem, which may look familiar. We have the vector field f of x, y, z is equal to x, y, z, and we want to calculate the total flow of that vector field out through the boundary of the cylinder. x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1, 1 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 4. When we did this a couple of lectures ago, we did it in the following way. We said, well, this cylinder has three boundary components. It has a boundary at the top, and we calculate the flow out that way. And it has a boundary at the bottom, and we calculate the flow out that way. And it also has some sides, and we calculate the flow outward through those. And we added those three contributions up. And it takes some effort, like a couple of slides to do that. But now we can do it with the triple integral by applying the divergence theorem. So here we've got the vector field f of x, y, z is equal to x comma y comma z. Then we calculate its divergence by taking the x derivative of the first part, the y derivative of the second, and the z derivative of the third and adding them up. The divergence of this vector field is three, which is significantly simpler. And so calculating the surface integral of this over the boundary is the same as integrating three over the inside. But that's three times the volume of a cylinder and the volume of a cylinder whose height is three and whose base is a circle of radius one is three pi. And so the total is nine pi. That's significantly shorter than parametrizing and calculating all three surface integrals, even though we get you know slightly more information out at the end of the day when we calculate those three. We figured out how much is going on through the top, how much is going on through the bottom, and how much is going on through the sides. So using the divergence theorem, when we can do it is almost always a win. First of all, it might clean up the integrand because when we take divergence, some irrelevant parts might go away. It turns a surface integral into an integral in 3D. And you know, whatever you think about integrals in 3D, they're not as much work as doing surface integrals. So if we can apply this, it's almost always a useful thing to do so.